So tonsils are located in the back of the mouth. Um, if you're looking in a the mouth, they're going to be on the sides just above where the tongue is. Um, and adenoids are located in the back of the nose. They function as part of the immune system and um, help to prevent germs from getting into the body. So the two most common reasons for referral for tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy are for snoring and for symptoms that are similar to sleep apnea. So children who are stopping breathing at night or holding their breath at night and have loud snoring. And we also remove tonsils oftentimes for recurrent infections of the tonsils and adenoids. So this can be strep throat or this can be tonsillitis even with a negative strep test. Tonsillectomy is removal of the tonsils. This is done in the operating room with the child or adult um, asleep. The surgery itself takes between 15 and 30 minutes. Um, and then most patients go home after surgery and do not require a hospital stay. The recovery time after surgery is somewhat variable. Um, it can last up to two weeks. Most often the biggest complaints after surgery are sore throat and um, ear pain. There can be a good bit of pain associated with swallowing and so it's important to encourage children to drink plenty of fluids. They may not eat for several days, but it, keeping them hydrated prevents them from having complications related. The recovery period after tonsillectomy can oftentimes um, be worse around the third day and even around day seven when the scabs begin to tighten in the back of the throat. The recovery period varies from patient to patient, um, but usually most, pa most patients are back to normal within two weeks.